Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find which fonts are being used in your Adobe Illustrator file. You're going to go to Type, Find, Replace Font, and here is a list of the fonts in your document. You can save this list right here. There's a button, Save List, and you can name that text file here. And now if I open that text file, you can see here is a list of those fonts. One of the best ways to collect your fonts, if you're going to share the file or if you need to open it in the future, is to go to File, Package. You're going to have to save the document first and then choose the location where you want to save the package document and any fonts and links. And here's the Illustrator file, links, and fonts. If all the font files didn't copy to that folder, it's likely because of a licensing issue and you're going to have to manually locate those on your computer and copy them to the fonts folder. Another thing I want to cover is when you open your document, if any of the fonts are missing and you know you have them on your computer, they're just not installed at the moment. Let's see how to resolve that error. My favorite font manager is called Fontbase and it is a free application. I'll post a link in the description and it's really easy to organize and activate your fonts when you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate a couple of these. And now you'll see when I open my document that some of the missing fonts are listed here and I can click replace fonts. So here we can see that the fonts with this alert icon are the ones that are missing. And if you want to replace the font with a different font, that's where, when you're going to use this section below. If you know you do have the font on your computer, you're going to want to locate that now manually and activate it. If it was the correct font, it will automatically resolve. However, sometimes working between computers, it may have a slightly different name, like Helvetica may not completely match up from a Windows PC to your Mac. So that's when you also might want to replace the font with a similar but equivalent font. Or if you want to completely change the font, this is a good way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on those fonts again. And you can see that now those are resolved. If activating the font did not resolve it, you can go back to the type, find a replace font, and that'll bring you back to this dialog box where you can decide if you need to replace the font. And you'll likely want to replace fonts from your system because recent fonts may not display all of the fonts that you need. And then let's say we are going to replace the font. I'm going to select a font and let's go ahead and find where this font is in the document. You'll see that as I click on each of these fonts, it's going to show me the first iteration of where it is in the document. If you can see where that's highlighting. And if you continue to click find, it's going to show you the other locations where the font's used. So for instance, this body text is using crimson. And let's say I want to change it all to Adobe Castlon Pro. I'm going to do change. And if I do, that's only going to change whatever is within that text area but I want to change all. I hope this video helps you with finding, replacing, and packaging fonts in your project. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.